Diana, thanks for your comment. My, oh, my, what a wonderful day. <laughs> I used to sing that on my way to work in the morning. Listen, now, my mission uh, every day is to fight for a smaller, less costly, and more accountable government. And over the last uh, five years, our majority has advanced uh, conservative reforms uh, that will help our children and their children. We're now on track to cut government spending by $2.1 trillion over the next 10 years. We've made the first real entitlement reform in nearly two decades. And we've protected 99 percent of the American people from an increase in our taxes. And we've done all this with a Democrat in the White House. So I'm proud of uh, what we've accomplished. But more than anything, my first job as speaker is to protect uh, the institution. A lot of you know that, uh, now know, uh, that uh, my plan was to step down at the end of last year. I decided uh, uh, in November of uh, 2010 that uh, when I was elected speaker that uh, serving two terms would uh, have been plenty. And, uh, but in June of last year, when it became clear that the majority leader lost his election, uh, I frankly didn't believe it was right uh, for me to leave at the end of last year. Uh, so my goal was to leave at the end of this year. So I planned, uh, actually, on my birthday, November 17th, uh, to announce that I was leaving at the end of the year. Uh, but uh, it's become clear to me that uh, this prolonged leadership turmoil uh, would do uh, irreparable harm to the institution. Uh, so this morning, I informed my colleagues that uh, resigned from the speakership and resigned from Congress at the end of October. Now, as you've often uh, heard me say, uh, this isn't about me. It's about the people. It's about the institution. Uh, just yesterday, we witnessed uh, the awesome sight of uh, Pope Francis addressing uh, the greatest legislative body in the world. And I hope that uh, we will all uh, heed his call to live by the golden rule. Uh, but last night, last night, I started to think about this. And uh, this morning, I woke up and I said my prayers, as I always do. And I decided, you know, today's the day I'm going to do this. As simple as that. Uh, that's the code I've always lived by. If you do the right things for the right reasons, the right things will happen. And I know uh, good things lie ahead uh, for this House uh, in this country, and I'm proud of what we've accomplished, especially proud of my team. You know, uh, I've been here uh, my 25th year here, and I've succeeded in large part because uh, I've put a staff together and a team together, uh, many of which have been with me for a long time. And, uh, and without uh, a great staff, uh, you can't be a great member, and you certainly can't be a great speaker. I'm going to thank uh, my family for putting up with this uh, all these years. My poor girls, who are now 37 and 35, uh, their first uh, campaign photo uh, was in uh, July of 1981. And so uh, they've, uh, they've had to endure all this. It's one thing for me to have to endure it. I've got thick skin. Uh, but, uh, you know, the girls and my wife, uh, they've had to put up with a lot over the years. Uh, let me express uh, my gratitude uh, to my uh, constituents uh, who've uh, sent me here uh, 13 times uh, over the last uh, 25 years. Uh, you can't get here without, uh, without getting votes. But, uh, uh, and I, I said this often, people ask me, what's the, what's the greatest thing uh, about being speaker or about being an elected official? And I said, well, it's the people you get to meet. You know, I've met tens of thousands of people in my own congressional district that I would never have met other than the fact that I decided to run for Congress. And uh, over the years, as I've traveled on behalf of uh, my colleagues in the party, uh, I've met tens of thousands of additional people all over the country. And uh, you meet rich people, you meet poor people, you meet interesting people, and eh, probably a few boring ones along the way. Uh, but uh, I can tell you that 99.9% .9 of the people I meet uh, on the road, anywhere, uh, could not be uh, could not be nicer uh, than uh, than they've been. It's uh, it's been it's been really it's been wonderful. Uh, it's been an honor to serve in this institution.